At times, the stock market may seem like a jungle of companies that's impossible to act through. While there's no clear path through the Wall Street jungle to your goals, there are two ratios that might help make your journey a little bit easier. They are PEG and PEGI. PEG and PEGI are valuation ratios that can help potential investors to spot undervalued stocks based on earnings or dividend yield. In this video, you'll learn how PEG and PEGI are calculated and how they may help you spot potentially undervalued stocks. PEG and PEGI are extensions of the price to earnings ratio or PE ratio. Investors typically use PE ratio to compare the performance of an individual stock to stocks of similar companies. However, the PE ratio doesn't account for the fact that different companies with different corporate objectives may treat earnings differently. For example, many companies reinvest their earnings back into the organization for research and development or expansion. Other companies share earnings with their shareholders in the form of dividends. Also, the PE ratio doesn't account for the company's future growth nor for its dividends, but PEG and PEGI ratios do. The PEG ratio compares a company's PE ratio to its forecasted earnings growth. Typically, the forecasted earnings growth is looking at either the next year or five years out. Low PEG ratios are accomplished when a company has a lower PE period with a higher earnings growth projection. This can be a potentially powerful combination. A stock with a PEG ratio below 1 is typically considered as undervalued, whereas stocks with PE ratios between 1 and 2 may be considered as fairly valued. And a stock with a PEG ratio greater than 2 is likely overvalued. PEG can give an assessment of how a stock is valued compared to its growth rate. Now let's examine PEGI, the ratio that helps evaluate dividend paying stocks. Stocks with higher dividend yield don't usually appreciate as quick as companies that reinvest their earnings back into the business. The PEGI ratio takes dividends into account by comparing the company's PE ratio to its projected growth rate and dividend yield. The dividend yield is a percentage of the stock's current price that is paid in dividends over the previous years. The dividend yield gives investors an estimate of expected future dividend payments based on previous payments and the stock's current price. The PEG ratio is calculated the same way as the PEG ratio, but the dividend yield is added to the denominator. For example, suppose a company has a PE ratio of 14, a 5-year projected earnings growth of 15% and a dividend yield of 2.5%. With these figures, the company has a PEG ratio of 0.8. To calculate PEG, use the same scale as the PEG ratio. A stock with a PEG ratio below 1 is typically considered as undervalued, whereas Stocks with PE ratios between 1 and 2 may be considered as fairly valid, and a stock with a PEG ratio greater than 2 is likely overvalued. While there are other important factors and risks to consider when evaluating stocks, many investors use PEG and PEGI to help them find undervalued stocks. Thank you for watching. Look at your screen now for more educational videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.